Use these animation techniques to create immersive experiences on your website. When your job involves design and messaging, whether it's for your portfolio or storytelling, you want to evoke emotions in your visitors. And when things move unexpectedly, that's when you know you got their attention. In this video, we'll discover how to create immersive experiences by using scroll tracking techniques and the full range of motion and animation capabilities that Elementor Pro offers. Let's dive in. First impression is everything. Impress your visitors from the moment they land on your page. Use page transitions in the site settings to create a unique welcoming experience to your website. Set the background as you would for a container. Choose from rich entrance and exit animations to make a full screen first impression. You can use pre-built animation preloaders or create your own unique preloader with an image or icon combined with various animations. Control their duration and timing to perfect your transitions. With only a few steps, your professional transitions will set the mood of your brand for your visitors. Some might say it's impossible to do horizontal scrolling in Elementor without code. Wrong! Horizontal scrolling involves sticky positioning, nesting elements, and manipulating widths. To achieve this, you first need a vision. In other words, your design needs to be ready. And you need to know how much width your inner elements will take up. Start by adding a full width main container with a minimum height of 100 viewport height plus something more than the total width of your inner elements. Giving an exaggerated height to your main container will give you time to scroll down until your inner container will finish its horizontal scrolling. If you want to set a background image that covers the full width of your screen in a container that has bigger height than your viewport, as in this example, set the position to top center and the attachment to fixed. Your background image will stay in its place as you scroll down. Next, nest an inner container slightly wider than the combined width of your inner elements in a row layout. And start adding your inner elements one by one. A counter widget, a text, and then duplicate. Once you're done, go back to your main container, set the overflow hidden to get rid of the horizontal scroll bar, and make it sticky on top with an offset if you want to leave some space above your inner elements. Use transform offset to set the initial position and add the horizontal scroll effect. And you're done. You can sprinkle your inner items with a transparency effect too. One of the best ways to create depth on your website is to add mouse effects on your small elements. Enable the mouse effects under the motion effects to make elements move on your page in the direction you want. Keep it minimal with a lower speed. And turn on the 3D tilt to add extra depth. Use Tabs widget to rotate images on click event on each abstract. Remove the borders from tabs to give a seamless look and style truly the hover and active states of titles. It will surprise your visitors and communicate visually that they are clickable. Give images that you place individually in each container an entrance animation, so on each click your content will be displayed with a visual effect. Hotspot widget allows you to add tooltips to your images. Use multiple hotspot widgets in small sizes to enrich your section visually. Make your hotspot point big enough to cover the image and transparent so when image is clicked it will open the tooltip. You can enhance the effect by adding an on-hover scaling or gliding animation using Transform feature. Transform feature is available for all widgets and it's a free feature that will allow your creativity to run wild. 
Get Elementor Pro today to create immersive experiences for your website.